Military forces from member states of Southern Africa Development Community, SADC, have urged to have joint health service programs, physicians and drugs to combat particularly non-communicable diseases. Hear the details on the story. Closing the 11th meeting of the SADC Military Health Services Working Group, Chief of Inspection from Tanzania People's Defense Forces, TPDF, Brigadier General Leonard Mdeme, says since SADC military units have a plan of joint maneuvers, it is better for them to also have common health service programs. The TPDF Chief Medical Officer, Brigadier General Admiral Mwabulanga, said during the meeting, they agreed on various issues, including establishment of joint static military units for drugs, disasters, and research, while Tanzania will be the head of disasters unit. Uh, this is a cooperation in uh, four, main, four main areas, uh, TB, HIV, malaria, and now we've introduced non-communicable diseases. We've got three other areas that we want to introduce, uh, business, uh, pharmaceutical businesses, also want to handle issues of uh, disaster management because we've got a lot of these disasters in uh, our SADC regions. So as military health services, we want to come together so that we can be able to assist each other whenever each one of our countries has a disaster. Water Sector Week came to a close today with the government stating that it will double its efforts to ensure that in the foreseeable future, Tanzanians both in urban and rural areas have access to clean and safe water. Our reporter Robert Ocheng has more on the story. The Water Week that coincided with Tanzania's 50th anniversary since independence had been characterized by exhibitions from various water stakeholders and was closed by Deputy Minister for Water, Engineer Gerson Luenge, who called on citizens not to destroy water catchment areas. We have made substantial success that at the time being for the regional centers, we have succeeded 86% of the people in the regional centers, they get safe water. And for the villages, we have managed to reach to the level of 58.7% of the people living in the villages. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Water, Christopher Sai, said the government is working on a 25-year water sector development program whose first phase has already been completed. So we are implementing this program which addresses mainly four components. The first component is with regard to water resources management, which is very important. The second component is on rural water supply. We need to reach all the population in rural areas. The third component is on urban, urban water supply and storage. But the last component is on institutional strength and capacity building. And that's the end of the national news. The African news is next after the break. <laughs>